Hello Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you're having a blessed time with family and friends today. When Jesus speaks, we listen. And especially when he warns us, we need to lean in and listen even that much more. Listen to what he says in Mark chapter 12, starting at verse 38. He says this, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and like greetings in the marketplaces and have the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feast, who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive a greater condemnation. Beware of the scribes. The scribes or the Bible scholars of Jesus' day, now they were entrusted with preserving, learning, and teaching the word of God to the whole world. Now these were the men that the people of God should have been able to trust. But Jesus instead says this, beware of them. You see, Jesus is exposing the hypocrisy of these religious leaders and their true motives. They think that they are more important than everyone else, like they're on a whole different level. Now this goes against everything Jesus has been teaching his followers about the kingdom of God. You see, the kingdom of God is about servanthood. It's not self-seeking. It's about putting the interests of others before our own, not about selfish ambition. It's about blessing others, not taking advantage of people. And because they were leaders who had influence with all the people around them, they were going to receive a greater condemnation. As followers of Jesus Christ, what are your motives today? What are your motives for serving God? Is it to be seen by others, wanting the praise or the applause of others? Jesus said, if that's what you're looking for, that's all you're going to get. Or are you reflecting the character of Christ, giving God the glory and the honor? Well, but Pastor Reuben, I'm not a leader in the church. Well, maybe not. But we all have influence. We have influence at home. We have influence at work. And we have influence in the community. And as people who have influence, and more importantly, as followers of Jesus Christ, the question I want to leave with you today is this. Who are you representing today? Is it yourself or is it Jesus Christ? God bless you and have a good day.